The Finance Committee approved unanimously a motion that would allow Benton County Judge Barry Mooring to go forth and follow some new um, that way he could pursue some further designs for a downtown alternative to that Benton County Courthouse that voters denied back in March. This option that will go through tonight is a very suitable option. Uh, and it accomplishes our needs for a period of time. The Benton County Finance Committee opting to pursue a much smaller courthouse than the one originally presented to voters in March. While this new design would lack a basement for a detention facility, the building would still feature new courtrooms, enhanced security, larger public spaces, and more elevators. And unlike the original option, this proposal doesn't require a vote or cost taxpayers. We're estimating between 12 and 14 million dollars, uh, but that is a rough estimate. Uh, and that would be paid for with a combination of reserve funds, uh, the Walton Foundation grant of $2 million, some revenues from the sale of buildings, and then um, a short-term loan, um, not a long-term bond, but a short-term loan to fill the gap. The committee voted unanimously in support of taking next steps with this option, and it even garnered support from previous opponents to the courthouse project. As I'm sure as well aware, I was kind of one of the lead people fighting against the original uh, tax increase. Uh, I, think, I think it's a great idea to use our existing reserves and revenues. Uh, I think it also embraces our culture of Benton County. It remembers where we came from by expanding on our existing courthouse while also looking into the future with our conservative values of Benton County. And this uh, just really gives us the green light to start a design process. This does not approve the overall building just yet, but just to get the design process started. Judge Mooring says next month he'll bring forth a small appropriations ordinance. That way he'll have some money for the design of this project. He says the official approval of whether or not this project will be built will not happen until the fall. Reporting live in Benville tonight, I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.